Yeah, hi students, this is Ranjit and today I'm going to teach you about how to create line bodies and surface bodies in ANSYS Workbench. Because in any FEA analysis, there we can use three kinds of solids there. Eh? Three-dimensional of three-dimensional solids, two-dimensional solids and one-dimensional solids. And one more category is there, it is axisymmetric elements or axisymmetric solids. That's not, we, we are not going to discuss that in right now. So, first we will discuss about solid uh, the surface bodies and one dimensional bodies the solid bodies the, the, which means the three dimensional bodies we can create with the conventional method but when we are into the surface bodies or the uh, one dimensional bodies normally in fea we call it as a shell element or a link element or a beam element so the one dimensional bodies categorized as or it's it is called as a link type elements or the beam type elements and the link elements has got another name truss elements and this uh, surface bodies it's generally called as a shell elements where we can use the plane stress or plane strain equations so i'll show you how to create the geometry the the, the surface bodies of the, the sorry uh, the surface how to create the surface bodies in space claim so space claim it's a little bit tricky to create the surface bodies and the uh, uh, line bodies um, so let's not waste time we'll jump into the geometry and we'll learn how to create line bodies okay so if you right click uh, you can see there are three options to create geometry three modeling softwares are available in ansys one is design model geometry then it's an old school like concept then new discovery geometry then new space claim the discovery and the space claim it's a new technology like concept but it's mainly used for fast modeling. So I'll click the space claim first because that's we are gonna discuss in this video. So let's wait for some time because this software, the space claim is computationally intensive software. It will take some time to load. Yeah, it's loaded. So first I will we will discuss how to create a surface body. So suppose I want to create a plate, a rectangular plate. So I will create the rectangle first in the sketcher module. Then I will click on this end sketch editing. So it will automatically create a surface body. You can see the name of the surface. And when you are into FEA or when you import this into FEA, you need to assign the thickness. And uh, you can create the three dimensional body by just operating on the surface. Suppose you, you are selecting this face, you can easily create a solid body from this but the challenge is that suppose you want a surface body here this face imagine it's like a cfrp wrapping on the surface so you need to create a surface body here so to do that you just click the select option and select the face and simply plus press ctrl c and ctrl v automatically a surface will be created it's a simple process Suppose you want a surfaces here and here, select these surfaces by pressing control and then control C, control V. So the second surface is created and if you hide the solid, you can see the surfaces. Okay, so that's how we create the surfaces. The two methods, initially we will create the drawing, then automatically the space plane will convert that into a surface. The second one, if there is any geometry 3D solid, we can take the faces as a guide for creating the surfaces okay next how to create the line bodies or the one dimensional bodies so suppose i want to create a one dimensional body in this edge i'll select this edge and i'll go for control c control v but it won't create a line body but it will create a line the difference i'll i'll explain what is the difference between this line body and the line because this is merely a line it's just a act it will act as a guide for the line body this is actually not a line body this case in case of surface body it's a surface body because when you create the when you click on the control c and control v it will create a surface body or the shell element uh, i don't say element because this is geometrical side because if you mesh it then only then only we can call it as an element okay next uh, to convert this into a line body, this line, if I want to convert it into a line body, I have to go to prepare tab, there is one option, prepare tab. And inside the prepare tab, you can see a create option. Now, this is actually deactivated one. Why? Because we don't have any profile. Because 
in shell elements or the surface bodies you need to assign the thickness in a similar manner if it is a one dimensional body you need to assign the cross section to calculate the area to calculate the moment of inertia ixx iyy all these informations we required to sorry we need to give the cross section so first we need to create the cross section or the profile both are same so in this case i am going to create a solid cylinder so my profile or my cross section will be a circle so i'm selecting the circle you can create any profile from here there are more profiles or standard profiles any profiles you can create and this for this particular uh, demonstration i'll just uh, select the circle yeah so my profile is there it's created but in the previous step i selected this line that's why automatically my beam is assigned to here and you can now you can see once the profile is activated the create button is also activated suppose you want a profile here you can select it and go for create it will create the profile can you see the second b similarly if you want another profile you can select another profile select your line and create it will create another profile you can see the beam this is with the beam with the circular tube and this is with the circular tube and this is if you select the beam sorry you can see the type and the profile name it is the circular tube suppose you want to edit this profile this circular tube right click and edit beam profile you can control the dimension suppose you want to change this you can change this into let's say i want to change this into 20 now if i back to this dimensions so this is ready sorry you need to uh, select this one sorry about uh, pardon about my mistake because you need to select it here then you can change this into 30 then it will be bigger and similarly you can change this ruler dimension just click on this one and if you make it at 20 it will change the dimension once you are okay with this one then close this geometry automatically your circular that is area will be modified and you are if you go to the structure you can your beam profile will be modified and from this case you can see the beam is two of the beams were assigned with the circles and uh, one beam is with a circular tube so this is the way to create a solid uh, sorry a line body and a surface body thank you